Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be talking about all of the new LEGO Fall 2021 releases. And don't even get me started about the rumors. Things like, uh, pointing the wrong way, the Titanic, the set over here. That's not the actual set, that's a picture of the actual Titanic. But it's rumored that we're going to get one of those this fall. And it's actually going to be the largest LEGO set ever released with over 12,000 pieces i'm really excited for that if that rumor is true then sign me up because that is going to be awesome signs are pointing towards it but no official signs just things in the air that are just floating around and, and I'm, I'm listening to them and i'm and i'm liking them <laughs> that's about it but uh, also there's another really cool uh release that we might be getting this fall as well apparently there might be a ucs ATAT -AT walker. I know I have two, four, five ATAT -AT walkers, but this one's going to be an UCS ATAT -AT walker, and ATAT -AT walkers have a special place in my heart because they actually got me into LEGO in 2015 on May the 4th. I bought the 2014 ATAT -AT walker. But let's have a look at the LEGO website because there's a bunch of new stuff coming out here this October, November. So, of course, if you go to LEGO.com, you can see some of these uh, products that are coming out here this fall, October, November. And there's actually a little trick on the LEGO website. If you go to Shop and then you go to New and you scroll down, you can actually narrow it down by Availability and go to Available Now or Coming Soon. So the first one that I'm rather excited about is actually the Batman cowl. I won't say that this is on the top of my wanted list because 1966 Batman, I didn't really watch it that much. You know, obviously I've heard of it, Adam West, stuff like that. But I think this one's going to match up nicely with the other cowl and also all of the other helmets. And for that reason, I want to add it to my collection because, you know what, I've got all of them so far. I may as well get this one here as well. I collect a little bit of Technic, and the Ford F-150 Raptor actually looks pretty sweet. It's $140. It's not the biggest piece count in the world with 1,379 pieces, nor is it the largest set in the world. It's only about uh, 6 inches high, 16 and a half inches long, which is actually still pretty big, and 7 inches wide. It's on the same scale as like the Porsche 911 RSR, I believe, and also the uh, Ferrari with all the stickers. So I don't know. This is sort of one that I want to add to my collection because I collect... Technic supercars or vehicles rather now at this point if I get this Ford F-150 and I sort of want to add this one to the collection because it sort of matches the vibe of my other Technic sets. So we all know that there's actually two different Batman tumblers coming out. I'm really excited about the small one. It's $49.99. Uh, it comes with uh, Batman and also Scarecrow. However, I am rather disappointed that it didn't come with a UCS plaque, just like the 1966 Batmobile did in, in the same scale. And also, like the 1989 promo Batmobile did uh, that came out in conjunction with the 1989 Batmobile on Black Friday in 2019, I believe it was. I don't know why there wouldn't be a little plaque and a little stand for this thing, maybe because it would just sort of match the vibe of the other one. Now, also, there's a massive one coming out this one doesn't look too much different from the one from 2014. I honestly am on the fence about this one. I'm probably not going to get it because I have the one from 2014. Although the box art is really cool. And I don't see very many changes in comparison to the other one. Other than the fact that it comes with a stand that the tumbler can actually rotate on. Now something that confuses me is it comes with a stand for the minifigures, but the stand has gargoyles on it. That really is has nothing to do with the uh, Batman movies from Christian Bale or the Dark Knight trilogy. I mean, that's more like the 1989 vibe. So what is this, like the 1989 Batman Tumblr? Is that what you're telling me there? <laughs> now something that I've moved into fall because it's not coming out in my country or in North America until... Uh, September 15th, unfortunately, is the Harry Potter icon set. I'm still really excited for that one, and I really want to get that one. Okay, this thing looks pretty cool. This is the Super Mario 64 question mark block. It's got, like, all these micro-scale scenes that flip out of the top of it. Oh, my gosh. Like, I haven't even really looked at the website until now. Of course, I watched the teaser video on Facebook, on, on LEGO Facebook. I watched their reveal video of it as well, but it looks pretty interesting. You get some nice print pieces there. Look like there's Peach on that print piece there. And I just saw a Bowser print piece too somewhere. Did I just flip by it? I think I did. Yeah, there's like some Bowser print pieces and whatnot, which look pretty interesting. There he is. 
What is there an eyeball there? <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, like micro scale stuff that sort of flip out of the cube. Honestly, I think I'm more hyped for the uh, building mechanisms on how that cube actually opens up. I'm really interested to see how that works. And also it's really neat how actually the Mario and Luigi uh, figures can actually interact with this set as well. It's pretty big, 2,064 pieces. I wonder how big the cube is, if they say in the description here. The block measures seven inches or 18 centimeters high, wide and deep. Okay, so it's uh, seven inches or 18 centimeters and it's a cube, okay. That's not that big, is it? I think it's gonna be more so like the building uh, mechanisms and the techniques that they use inside the cube. You can see it looks pretty advanced in there that I'm really excited about. And just the way it looks on the shelf. Honestly, I'll probably just display it as the question mark. If and when people come over uh, to check out my Lego collection, I'll be like, yeah, 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 but look at this. It folds open. And then, like all the micro scale stuff will pop out of it. So I'm pretty excited about that one there. Although I will say, I'm not sure if that is a day one purchase. I don't know if this is a day one purchase for me either. This is the Fender. We all saw this one. It's got the very detailed amp and also it's in red or you can switch it to black. It comes with the guitar uh, strap strings, the, uh, the sticker. And yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, set, very detailed. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it, but I don't know if it's a day one purchase for me because I'm not really a guitar player. Don't really do that at all. Santa's Visit is coming out on October 1st, but it's available to VIP members on September 16th. I just did a preview video on this one. It looks pretty sweet. I like how Santa Claus can actually go down the chimney. There's a whole lot of this stunt show stuff coming out here uh, in uh, October. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I almost want to get a few to try them out. I'm guessing some of these have like pullback motion. They look very colorful. Looks like there's lots of ramps and stuff. Like these guys can like, looks like jump over these vehicles, which is pretty neat. I am a fan of Monster Jam and stuff like that. I always find myself like getting lost on TikTok watching Monster Jam videos. Yeah, I follow them. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know if I want to get any of these, although some of the motorbikes, like this one here, and this one here, and of course, this one here with the guy in the chicken suit look pretty awesome. There's also a few other sets in the lineup that look pretty sweet, like this one's got flames and it can jump over. I think these are more interactive uh, sets, like play sets that I'm not really a fan of. There's a few other ones, but I think if I were to get any of these stunt show sets, I would probably get the one with the chicken suit just because I want the minifigure with the chicken suit. Also, there's some uh, Lego Eternal stuff coming out. I don't really know much about it. The movie looks really hyped to me. I saw some previews when I was in the movie theater watching Shang-Chi and it looked awesome. I'm really excited about it. Looks like there's a good cast and I think like the sets might mean more to me once I actually watch the movie. I haven't really read any of the comic books or anything like that. Like this set here looks pretty interesting. This is the Rise of Domo. Looks like you get some pretty neat minifigures. And this like triangular shaped cube looks interesting. I know I must sound like a complete noob because I am. It opens up and there's all sorts of stuff inside. That one might be an interesting build, but until I see the movie, I can't say whether or not I'm gonna get any of these. For sure on day one, it's not because I don't know anything about it, obviously. There's another Marvel set coming out. This is the Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. Uh, looks like you get some pretty cool minifigures. I didn't get any of the other new Spider-Man sets, so I'll probably stay away from this one as well but it looks like there's some pretty awesome mini builds in there, maybe some print pieces as well, like bordering that hole in the wall there. Uh, and obviously you get some great mini figures in there. You get Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, etc. There's also this one here, which is the Deviant Ambush, which is another Marvel Eternal set. Now one that I really like, and it's coming out on October 1st, and I already got this one, is the Lego Creator Expert Vintage Farm Pickup Truck. This thing is awesome. If you guys haven't checked out my review on it, make sure you do. This thing is amazing. I love I love everything about it. It's it's a really great addition to the Lego Creator Expert vehicle set. If I didn't already have it, I'd for sure be getting that on day one, no questions asked. We built these cute little guys the other day. Definitely worth adding to your Christmas tree. I really enjoyed them. Also, this little Christmas penguin as well. I was actually quite surprised by the build. Uh, there was actually a hidden Easter egg in the stand of it, which was like a snowflake. He can rotate on his stand here. The wings are not like actually triggered by a button or anything on the back or a switch or anything they're just on uh, hinge bricks so the wings are sort of stationary unless you move them by hand but definitely a cute little build with a little easter egg inside the stand it comes with a nice christmas tree and some presents as well i like this little guy and it'll be nice to add to our christmas decorations oh my gosh i went right by this one this is the mysterio drone attack it comes with uh, nick fury mysterio and also spider-man and a pretty good looking vehicle i might get this one because it's a little set 
It's a four plus set, so everything's going to be printed in it. It's $24.99 coming out on October 1st. So this one might be a good one to get just to add a vehicle to your Lego City and also get a couple nice or a few nice minifigures uh, and add them to your collection. I like four plus sets for that reason. I'm definitely down for this one. It won't be a day one purchase, but if I'm ever out and about at like Walmart or something and they have it on sale, uh, of course, after it's released, like after a few months, I'll probably pick it up if I find it on sale. Okay, now this one's gonna be a little bit weird. Why am I excited about this? I don't know, I want this. It's like a fanny pack. Yeah, a brick hip pack, and it's uh, navy colored. I actually want this. I hope it. it's like not tiny. I would wear, like if I was walking around at Disney Park or Universal or, or Legoland or something like that, I would totally wear this. I'd put like my cell phone in there, my wallet in there. I'd put like, I don't know, some chapstick in there. I don't know, I don't, I don't use chapstick, but you know what I mean? I would use this instead of having a backpack when you're walking around a, a park or, or doing something that you're out all day. I would, I would consider wearing this. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm actually really excited about this, uh, this brick hip pack or uh, fanny pack. So that's all the different Lego sets that are coming out. Well, not all of them, but some of my top choices here on the Lego website. Once again, if you want to see all of the new sets that aren't out yet, you can go to new here on the Lego website, just like I just did there. Scroll down and go to availability and then hit uh, coming soon. And then apply those filters and you can see all of the new stuff that's coming out soon. I think I covered most of it. Except for some of these Eternal sets I didn't cover. Oh, there's also a Spider-Man's Drone Duel there as well. And some other cool ones. I'm really excited about the chicken guy here. But yeah, this is where you can see all of the new stuff that's coming out uh, in the fall of 2021. Oh my gosh, look at this. How did, I, how did I scroll right by that? That's huge. Look at this. This is the App Controlled Cat D11 Bulldozer for $550. If you're in a Technic, I'm sure this is going to be amazing. Wow. $550, 3,854 pieces. That's got that cat branding. And I'm sure this would be really cool. You could control it with the app and all that. Wow, I'm sure you'll be able to uh, do all sorts of different movements with the app as well. Like, uh, yeah, it's got a whole whack of different moving components. So that looks interesting as well. I'll stay away from it because once again, it doesn't match up with my Lego Technic supercar or vehicle lineup. So I'll be staying away from that one. But yeah, if you wanna check out all of the new stuff, feel free to check this out or just watch this video as well. I can't wait to maybe get a Titanic in the uh, fall of 2021 and an AT-AT Walker as well. Guys, that's really about it for today. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And thank you so much for popping on by. Have a good one.